DHSEquipmentPod.com. Okay, now that we got our block off of our jig, we're going to go ahead and split the cases. On the bottom of this engine, you've got four holes. It's an, uh, an eight millimeter bolt. What we're going to do is, on the flywheel side of the engine, take that eight millimeter bolt and thread it in. Take the other eight millimeter bolt, thread it in. It doesn't have to be tight, it's just going to be holding up the crankcase. On this side of the engine, <coughs> we've got some Torx head bolts and we've got some, some nuts on the other side. So we're going to start by removing these uh, removing these nuts and bolts. What we're going to do is, now that we've got this up, we can just hold it into our vise. Take our Torx end socket and just start removing these bolts. The next thing we do once we've got once we've got all the uh, nuts and bolts removed. Uh, we're going to separate the crankcase halves. Uh, the outside housing is aluminum, it's thin, it's soft, it'll heat up quickly. Uh, so what we want to do is with a, with a propane torch, just to make this easier to press out, we're going to take the propane torch and we're going to heat just this area. Now anytime you're going to do anything with a crankshaft where you're going to have any kind of uh, tools around the threads of the crankshaft, we don't want to damage them, so what we're going to do is we're gonna thread the nut back onto the crankshaft. Okay, on the flywheel side and on the clutch side. With that nut flush with the crankshaft, we're gonna take a dead blow, nothing heavy, no five pound sledgehammer, uh, just a dead blow, a uh, good solid dead blow hammer. Uh, and we're just going to grab hold of this side of the crankcase and we're going to hit it squarely on the crankshaft. 